what is going on wolfpack savage here look hopefully eventually the green screens will change into one permanent screen i am in the process of buying a house it wasn't me i swear the power just like flickered i don't know what the hell just happened am i still recording what's what's going on in today's video we'll be spectating analyzing and breaking down a random player's gameplay in a gold lobby but before we get into the video if you haven't already subscribe to the channel right now also destroy the like button let's get this video to 2,000 likes if we get to 2,000 likes i'm not doing anything different because screw that but let's get there and as always make sure you follow me on facebook make sure you follow me on twitter and as always join our discord community and utilize the looking for groups pages to your advantage to find some teammates with some brain cells and go out there and get some wins but without further ado let's go ahead and dive into the video all right turn this volume down so here we are spectating uh farber and the squad instantly down a man way across the map and here we are now finally gonna go help him out and I'll, i'm saying finally like these guys did something wrong they didn't i don't know what the hell dick farm dumb was doing but he definitely should have been over there by himself there's nothing wrong with going off on yourself guys and trying to outplay you know solo squad that's fine if you guys are at that level or if you just want to try it it's cool you guys have fun going out there and trying it by all means keep doing you brother i'm not i'm not hating on that at all but you guys are wanting to win you guys want teamwork make sure you're using teamwork i also want you to notice number two now we're by ourselves now we're by ourselves i do respect blue farber for actually pushing up and trying to avenge his boy's death unfortunately yellow and orange are back here freaking stocking the shells and doing god knows what well, hopefully that's all they're doing so here we are in combat with this dude guy jumping yeah yeah damn you gotta hate them they're matching skins you know they're, they're sweats for sure oh here here we go Ladies and gentlemen, here we are spectating Ojimo, who's literally sitting on a pile of bricks, just kind of, it's kind of looking in circles. He's definitely confused. There's no question about that. People are killing each other inside, and he just gives no shits at all. Anderson's in the middle of a fight right now, needs some backup, but we're gonna sit here and just allow a teammate to shoot us in the back of the head, and she got a throat. Now, why did he do that? Savage, because he's level 26. Oh yeah, true, true. So here we are, back on Indrickson. Who's the initial guy was way off by himself. He's now in a solo squad situation that he kind of created on his own. And here we are picking up a shotgun. Hell yeah, we're ready to win the game. I love it. I love it. All right. Look at the ammo. We could have used those eight rounds, but you know what? Oh, switch back to RPG. Okay. You know, because you'd rather have an RPG than a shoddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Picking up the dead silence. Okay. All right. And this is the shit you know. No. You're in a solo squad position. What are you supposed to do right now? You're supposed to go get a most wanted. Go to a scav. Go to a bounty. Go somewhere on the outskirts of the map to gather loot. There's plenty of places over by dam, military, and that surrounding area where you can get money. You can get loot efficiently without having to worry about a thousand people. Where do you not want to land? This place. This place is always popping. Always. And as you guys can see, there are four enemies marked in the mini map, but it is definitely two different teams because someone's shooting at somebody, right? So here we are. Let's see. This is going to get interesting really quick. All right. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, pushing up. Ender Hendrickson on top of it. The random decoy grenade going out. But here we are popping dead silence. Love the play. Hopefully. Okay. He's going to go for the easier target on the ground. Okay. 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 Whoa. Whoa. So he was able to go up there in third party. My only discrepancy with that is I probably wanted to get on the high ground. I probably wanted to get on the rooftop um, in order to get, you know, some overwatch and get some easy kills because, and as you guys saw, the moment we downed that player, his teammate was right there. So should that teammate have been able to have better shots or the guy who shouldn't have better shots, we really wouldn't have stood a chance. And I apologize. I didn't realize his teammate had gulag. I wasn't paying attention. That's on me, boys. That's on me. But we now have a 3v possibly two situation where we can go in and hopefully fight. Now, again, standing on this ledge is very dangerous. You just pissed off the people down to your right-hand side, right where my face cam's at, right? Right in this area, you piss them off. They have a beautiful shot on you. You're not protected at all. And now you're picking a whole other fight with a guy on top of Blue Roof. I respect it, but if you're gonna be fighting another guy in a different direction, make sure your side from that direction you initially started fighting with is protected. So jump in this cubby right here and utilize this to protect you from the guys you shot at originally so that you can shoot at this guy kind of stress-free. There you go. Better late than never, I guess. Now, as far as that enemy, dude, uh, I mean, 
hit indicators. There's a hit indicator that pops up and it literally tells you what direction you're getting shot from. There's no reason any player in this game should not know where they're getting shot from. No reason at all. I kind of would have gone for that execution. I'm going to be 100% real. I would have. I definitely would have. This is dangerous that we're, we're so exposed trying to fight this guy. Because yes, we did down that guy. But we already had that first person up there we're shooting at. As well as the second guy who landed in also. So it wouldn't surprise me to get shot from the left-hand side on top of the blue roof. All right, luckily we didn't. Our teammate was able to come up and, you know, third party. I love it. Not third party. I'd say pinch. Pinch the enemy. Beautiful. So we know there's a team on top of us. Three targets. All we got to do is go up there and kill them. Easy, right? No, no. But the last thing you want to do is this. Sitting out in the open trying to figure out what guns you want. Make a decision and go with it. Sound like someone's going for a res. Oh, there's one guy. Yep, there's the res right there. Oh, no. Wait, wait, don't execute, don't execute. Oh, whoo, you got lucky. Oh, yeah. Mm, this may not be a gold lobby. So what just, so that was crazy. He was gonna go for the execution, but fortunately the kid in the wetsuit ran down without an ounce of giving a shit. And we literally, as we're trying to execute, he runs into our, into our bullets. So that was, that was nice, I guess. Now, as far as the kid with the wetsuit on, instead of just bum rushing down the down the staircase, he should have b-hopped around the corner. He should have at least looked as he was peeking. Uh, there's no reason just to bulldoze right there. Uh, it looked like he was trying to go for a melee execution, and he gave zero shits that we were there to kill him. But here we are buying our teammates back, and hopefully we're moving on to the bounty. We are sitting on top of a bounty right now, so that would definitely be a, a key thing to pick up. We don't have enough money for our loadout drop, but I wouldn't really fret this point in the game. Uh, the free loadout drop should be coming in relatively soon. Still try to gather money and chase down bounties and kill people and get their money. It's definitely an objective, but there you go. But I wouldn't I wouldn't be too worried about not having a, a loadout drop right now because it will be coming soon. All right, here we are going out looking to chase down the bounty, but I want you guys to notice how um, our guy that we're spectating is literally not even looking around. He's just looking forward i'm sure with his eyes he's scanning the mountain and the trees and things like that i'm sure he's not that oblivious but um he's not even once looked at tv station he's not even once looked to his right hand side remember guys people love the snipe in this video game i know it's hard to believe there's a lot of snipers in this video game so make sure you guys are looking for glints looking for movement looking for vehicles looking for flares being shot up from people buying their teammates back make sure as you're running from one point to another you're always looking around you can gather a lot of intel just from using your eyes it's the weirdest shit All right, so vehicle coming up probably won't contest us. It looks like he's going to be driving on the road. There he goes driving away, and we need to remain focused on the bounty. I'm glad we didn't divert and try to shoot that guy. Let's go ahead and go over here. Now, the fact the loadout drop's falling in right now is awesome because, again, bounties love the camp. But with that free loadout drop, y'all can bait it. So all we got to do is hurry. Oh, shit. They got a chopper. That's not good, bro. Damn it. You tried, brother. You tried. All right, unfortunately, that sucks. That sucks. You can't really, you can't really predict that. I also, guy just landed on blue roof as well. I don't think it's part of the same team. I wouldn't imagine at least. So just be aware that you may be running into two different teams right now. And again, you need to start analyzing things like that. That way you guys can decide if you want to push it or not. I want you guys to notice now good on orange and green for noticing the enemy inside the house however we did not notice it our guy did not just hear the glass break behind us and the fact that there's an enemy right here not to mention we're sitting here still focused on a helicopter there are enemies on the ground we could be shooting at right now not to mention i would divert all of my attention to the dickhead behind me that could possibly shoot me in the back of the skull kill him and then focus on the team if this team gets away it's gonna suck and i get it you want the kills but don't ever sacrifice your life to go for some kills just because you have a little bit of an ego so here we are still just super focused, man. Why? Oh, ding, 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 ding. Holy crap. It clicked. Switch to your close range. Switch to your... There you go. Boom. Weird. That was so easy. Damn. All right. There's the other team that was on top of the rooftop. Helicopter flew away. I think they got their teammates. I really don't know. It didn't look like it. Huh? If there's a big Bertha driving right at your face and you've got trees and buildings and shit like that nearby, make sure you guys 
hide behind it so you don't get run over. That dude. It sounded like the truck just ran over an elephant. Now we gotta be careful going for the res because it, oh god, no, 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 okay, good. Two things right here. One, gotta be careful going for the res. Remember, there's other enemies here. We don't know if the helicopter picked up all their boyfriends or not. We have no idea, but I don't think they did. Not to mention there was a team over at Blue Building. So you know there's other enemies here. So going for a res is awesome, but make sure you win the fights first. If your teammate dies, it's fine. I'd rather lose one teammate than my, than my teammate and myself. And now we're down two people. So you need to look before you cross the road. Unfortunately for us, we didn't. Great reaction time trying to snap on the enemy, but unfortunately didn't work out. All right, going for the self-res. All we need is our team to suppress the enemy. That's all we need right now. They're doing a good job of that. They're trying to get the reses off. But you need to be careful because there's still at least two enemies that we know of messing with our hearts. I would have liked to see an orange push up with Anderson since Anderson was in by himself while we were going for the res, but it didn't work out. It's still technically right now. It's a 2v2. Hopefully blue and orange join us here soon so we can win this fight and finish it off quickly. Because again, the last thing you want is for the rest of the team to either converge on you and have it be a 4v4 instead of a 4v2 or have these uh, big Berthas and vehicles on top of the mini map come up and try to third party us. And again, I wouldn't stay focused on the vehicles. Damn, good shots. I wouldn't stay focused on the vehicles. I would stay focused on people shooting at the vehicles because the guys driving the vehicles, they're not, they weren't a concern for you guys. It was the guys that were shooting the vehicles that you need to be worried about. As far as the enemy's concerned, instead of just hiding in the room, if I were the enemy, I just would have went back outside through that back window, got back in my vehicle, and drove off, honestly, instead of trying to 1v4 fight. But he froze up in a house. He sat in a corner and waited for us to come in just to ultimately kill him. If it's a 1v4 and you're sitting in a corner, I guarantee you 99% of the time you're going to die. Shouldn't be a shock to anybody. But for some reason, people still do it. All right, so here we are. We have money now. Look, I know he's, he's going to buy self-res because he did that last time too. But again, self-res is cool, but I'd rather have some UAVs in the air, which they do, and have some in reserve too. Instead of dropping the money for your other teammates to buy self-res, just buy a UAV. I'm not really gung-ho on self-res, especially in quads. If you're playing quads, you're playing somewhat decent. If you go down, your team should be there to help you suppress fire while they go for the res. Um, I don't really think this is as necessary as it is in solos and duos, because it's quads. You have three other teammates that should be helping you out, right? All right, so we have Anderson marking some things, so we're going to go up here and, and fight him. And again, I want you guys to notice the split. I don't think it's intentional. I think it's just bad communication and bad teamwork. So here are splitting with green, and blue and orange are just back there by themselves doing whatever they're doing. Oh, it looks like he just picked up the money. And again, comms are crucial. So we have a guy that's on this hill. The last thing we're going to do is slow walk and watch the hill, because if this guy peeks that little ridge and he head glitches it, you're going to be dead because you have no cover. So your objective isn't at this point to sneak up on the hill. It's just to bulldoze through it. Because again, you don't want the enemy to peek up and catch you out in the open. But it looks like it's only a solo. But again, don't assume. Oh, there's one. There's two right next to him. Where's the third one and the fourth one? Get shot from the right-hand side. Love the fact that he drops prone. Random spray. I love the fact that he dropped prone behind cover to try to protect himself. You might want to play it up in this situation. There we go. Yeah, he definitely did. I'm glad I thought he was going to I thought he was going to go ahead and go in there and try to 1v1 him with no plates, but I'm glad he decided to throw the audible. All right, so right now I have no idea what the hell happened to blue. There's no pings anywhere. Orange isn't pinging shit either. And again, bad teamwork. Terrible teamwork. It took Anderson to, to give a ping in order to ping out targets. All right, now that their plates are somewhat damaged and broken, we could go ahead and start pushing up on them because they're going to have to plate up. There's a third one. This is, might be a second team. I don't, we don't know if this was, if this was the team that killed our dudes or not, because again, no pings. If you guys are playing quads, whether it's by yourself, whether it's with randoms or friends and you're not using pings. <sighs> nice throw, nice throw. So what I'd be doing right now, because you have a teammate that's right next to you watching the same ish direction, I would just have my teammate watch this rock as I went in for a right flank. I would use this ridge right here on the right hand side and try to and change position and force the enemy out of cover, right? Because if you push to the right, he doesn't have cover anymore. He's going to have to run on the other side of the rock, which exposes him to your teammate. 
So instead of y'all just both sitting here in the exact same spot, watching the same direction, just change your position, come up and shoot him in the side. This is a very interesting fight. I, I really believe they're fighting two teams at the same time. And the fact that they're diverging from one area to another is, is kind of crazy. Now, if it is the same team, then this, then this team is playing great. They're playing beautifully as far as the teammate that's flanking from our left-hand side. He's doing a great job. I don't know what the rest of these bozos are doing, but he's doing a great job if he's part of the same squad. I don't know if he is or not. <clears throat> and again, why? Because blue and orange didn't mark shit. So right now we're in a position where we could either get pinched by the same team or flanked by opposite teams. We need to make a move. We're sitting here for way too long. Let's change your position. This is clearly not the fight for us, or at least this is not the place for the fight. I mean, you literally broke his armor up here, bro. Why, why did you think he wasn't here? You should have switched to your SMG and pushed that hill. You knew he was there, bro. We just broke his armor. All right, fortunately, he didn't come down for the execution because our teammate was suppressing with a sniper rifle. Beautiful job on the teammate's part. And again, we should... There we go. And switch to your MAC-10, please, for the love of God. Weird. Wow, you can get kills with it. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God, it works! He didn't use the brood and he got, he got some kills. Weird. Weird. Actually, Anderson got those kills. JK. All right, here we are using the baby monitor. But he used it efficiently. Put it out. Put it back in. Oh, there you Okay, now, we, now we're getting carried away. Here we go. One more time, maybe. What are you doing? What What are you doing? I do like the fact that he's at least looking at the houses and he's checking the compound to his right-hand side. I don't like what he's doing with this building, though. Okay, here we go with the baby monitor again. And we're going to sit here. I don't know what we're doing right now, actually. This is this is concerning. We have nine kills, and after seeing this right here, I'm not really sure how we got them in the first place. We can either go push up there and kill them, or run. Don't just sit here next to a wall watching your teammate pick them and get picked themselves. All right, so they're clearly up here for sure. I like the fact you checked it. Oh, oh no, the laser, bro. Bro, you got to pay attention to the laser. Oh my God. You hear multiple sets of footsteps. Be very careful right now. There's the armor break. I think it's multiple foots. I might, I might be lying. All right, teammates coming in. You got to decide. Do you want to save your teammate? Do you want to kill the enemy? If you want to save your teammate, there's better ways to jump down than what he just did there because now he's exposed himself and cut off his opportunity to get to his teammate. And now he's put himself in a position where he can't get the execute and he might not be able to get the res off, but he got lucky that the team didn't push up and make his life a living hell. They had a great angle in the garage. Um, I would assume that the enemy that did shoot at us was going for the res. But again, I want you guys to notice Anderson went down by somebody and we have no idea where again. All right, here we are spectating Webb. Now, what happened? What happened exactly? Well, the team we were just spectating, Anderson had gone down from this team. How do we know it was from this team? Because this is the direction the shots were coming from when Anderson went down. But Anderson failed to ping the direction. So our guy had no idea where he was at. And when he jumped down, even though he jumped in a terrible position, he could have died from the team he was fighting originally that he downed. But when he went for the res, he opened himself up to get killed by the team that just downed Anderson because, again, he had no idea that Anderson got downed from this squad here. I hope that made sense. That was a lot of information. But here we are spectating Webb, McCabe, and Day. They're getting a recon objective. Respect, respect. Find out what them circles be at. Now, the recon, I haven't done a recon video in a while, and recon is so, it's so underutilized. It's so unrespected, but it's such a good tool. God, it's such a good tool. If you guys just want to win and you don't care about dropping kills, man, you you could you could win 
you, your win percentage will probably jump 30% if you just do recons over and over and over again because you'll know where all the circles are and you can base all your rotations based off of that knowledge right there. This game is about intel. This game is about knowledge. This game is about rotations. You'll have all that shit. But I want you guys to notice web paying attention to everything. Saw the flare go up. They know they're buying a teammate back. So now we're going to hopefully go up there and push this team and kill them. We do have enough money to split between ourselves where we could buy UAV. But we're so spread out, I don't think we'll be able to give it to each other. All right, I like the fact that he's at least checking the corners. And every time he passes the doorway, he looks at it. Um, every time he goes through the doorway, he looks both ways. And you have to be like that, especially in buildings where you know are high opportunity buildings. And by high opportunity, I mean buildings people love to camp in. And y'all know damn well this building right here is one of their favorites. Camper's Paradise. All right, so we have, we have we have shots going off from down there and we're looking to see where the traces are going. So register that in your head, but I wouldn't focus on it. I'd focus on the guy shooting for sure. There's one, there's a second one behind there. Great reaction time. The moment he peeks, instantly whips on him. I love it, I love it. M16 is disgusting. God, I need to make an M16 class, boys. Beautiful throw. Oh, the door opened right as the the stun grenade went off. What are you doing? What are you what are you sitting behind the door for? Bro, I don't know if y'all saw that or not, but the stun grenade literally went off inside the building, which forced the door open right when we were throwing the other stun grenade and it bounced in our face. That was awesome. Also, guys, y'all want to get as cracked at this player and actually even more cracked than this guy. Make sure you use code SAVAGE at your purchase of sneak energy. Link in the description. No, this is the truth though, man. The flavors are fucking bomb. I, I love the way it makes me feel. It doesn't get me super jittery. You know how like you drink too much coffee, you drink too much of the other energy products, or you drink too much Red Bull, whatever it is, you start getting too cracked out and you can't focus and shit. This is like a perfect balance of just energy, some heightness, um, without the crash and without the jittery effect, as long as you don't drink five of them because they're pretty damn good. And you, you might drink five of them, we'll see. Don't, don't do it, not recommend it at all. All right, but enough of advertising, here we are. We got the most wanted bounty. He can't really do anything about that, except for maybe, I don't know, look to the left or the right. Again, guys, when you're running out in the open, at least just look. All you gotta do is flick your stick to the left and the right, and boom, you're set, right? All he had to do was look at us, and he would've been fine. This man is on some stuff, bro. He's got all the sneak energy. This man took an IV, stuck it in his arm, and filled it with sneak. That's all he did. All right, but ladies and gentlemen, here we are now at an in-game situation. We still have a cluster strike, which is good. You definitely want to have some kind of streak at the end. That way, if you need to rotate um, into a position and it's going to be hard for you to, you guys can suppress the enemy with the streak. I love it. Now, I love how cracked out he is, but he's very vulnerable from the rest, the rest of this side of the map, right? And here we are jumping off into the unknown, going for this kill. Kind of questionable. There may be more than one target here. Nope. He's crouched behind the bush. Yeah, disrespect his dead body. I love it. I love it. But there's still nine enemies left. And I do li I like this team. This team is pinging everything. This team's got communication. This team is marking everything that they see. Everything. And I love it. I'm telling you, you don't have to be the best player in this game, guys. If you just practice teamwork and pings, I swear to you. I promise you guys with everything inside of me. You guys just use two simple things. Teamwork and pings. You guys would win more games then you can believe i promise it's 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 so weird for me to have to say it but i know a lot of you guys just struggle when it comes to things like that all right so the circle has now favored the other position the other side but not all hopes lost we have a great way to get there we have a great way to safely get there but we don't have to rotate just yet we don't have to rotate just yet we can kind of play this circle and see where everybody's at there are four teams left including us. So there are three enemy teams. We know where one team is because they just downed us and we're just shooting at them. So there's two teams unaccounted for. We need to start getting some intel on where those guys are instead of all hyper-focusing one team. Right now, orange, blue, and dark blue are all focused on that. One of us, at least, needs to be scanning the left side of the map, needs to be scanning the right side of the map. We got to get eyes on everything around us. Remember, the team you're fighting is not the only team on the map. Questionable. I don't. Eh. It's not a bad streak. I probably would have saved it because we would probably need it here soon. With as weird as our team's playing. Not to mention, even if we would have downed them, 
if he didn't get executed by it, he just would have got rezzed. And lastly, again, you want to get eyes on everything going on. There's still two other teams unaccounted for. They could be in the building under us, too. We have no idea. I don't think so, because it looks like Blue's... It looks like Blue's actually checking the building, so good on him. So good on him. He's in the fire right now, actually. I'm guessing they have voice comms, because the moment he started shooting, uh, Webb diverted to that side of the building. All right, go ahead. Get on the rooftop. See if you can shoot this bastard in the face. There's two targets. Oh, no. You got to hit your shots. No, brother. No. God, I hope this team wins, bro. They had the teamwork. Oh, oh. They did good. They, they did good with the teamwork. Let's see what happens. We both somehow survive. <gasps> no shot. Damn. Damn. And there's still all four teams up right now. Still. But good on him for pinging the enemy, even though he went down. Now it's up to, I think, I mean, they got left. Now it's up to the rest of the squad. Don't, don't understand this play at all, at all. For many reasons. One, there's a buy station right next to us. We can get our boy back. We can get homeboy skillet back right now. Oh no, blue. Blue. All right, so right now, the rest of the team is killing off the squad. It's now a 3v2 situation. And again, they could go in the gas and buy back Webb. It, I've seen crazier things. It wouldn't be a bad play because they could do it safely. I also want you guys to notice that he didn't ping the building. Granted, they may have voice comms, but there was no ping on the building regardless. So now, tables have turned from a 4v3 to a 2v1. But now we're in a 2v1. Circle's favoring the enemy that was camping in the shed. Oh, no. Oh, weird. Damn, if Greenberg wouldn't have been prone crawling under the trailer like a dumbass, he could have been there to help his teammate. Who would have thought that? Oh, no. Crawling under the trailer is bad. Who would have guessed? Oh, shit. Now he's probably going to die. Oh, surprise. Oh, yeah, dude. Look, I don't even feel bad for him. I'd like for him to win. But... Uh, <laughs> What went wrong for our team at the end? Because they started off with a full squad. They ended up dying one at a time because they were spread out fighting different shit. Homeboy Greenberg was laying prone, crawling back and forth under a trailer. What do I always say? Gather intel. Regardless if you want to win or just chase down kills or whatever the case is, the last thing you want to do is lay prone under a trailer. Teamwork is the dream work. I'm fine with you fighting your own fights if you can handle your own fights. And a lot of you guys that watch these videos, y'all can do it. Y'all can handle shit on 1v3, 1v4 like your damn Rambo. That's fine. It's cool. Good shit. But if you guys cannot, you guys are not competent. You need to be honest with yourself as a player. Like, you know what? I can't handle a 1v1. I'm going to wait and work with my team. And hopefully um, we can kill them together and win the game. You're so far. You're at the end. And in hindsight, they outnumbered the winning team four to three. There were only three of them alive when everyone started dying off. And unfortunately, they threw a 2v1. They threw it hard. Why? Greenberg. I'm so mad at Greenberg right now. I can spit nails. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, destroy that like button. Let's break the YouTube algorithm. Get us to 2,000 likes and get our channel exploding. But until next time, you have a good one and good luck in Warzone. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, check out one of these two bangers right here. And as always, subscribe by clicking the icon right there. But until next time, you have a good one and good luck in Warzone.